see. Uh, see. Yeah, I saw. Hmm. I didn't really see what was uh, doing the action, but I saw like it's almost like a machine that was writing on a blank piece of paper. Um, I don't know why it came into my mind, but I had seen the other day this contraption that uh, basically uses uh, like swinging motion to draw on paper and it would do these very intricate designs just by the laws of motion and just create these very interesting designs. I forget mm. what the contraption is called. Mm. But I think I had seen something similar just writing over this piece of paper and I saw it was like with charcoal or something like, you you know, charcoal art mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, writing on this paper and I could see at first it was very muddled and you couldn't really see it well, mm. what it was drawing. But then I saw it was like a, just a very, very simple image of a still frame of an apple on this piece of paper. Uh -huh, okay. And as it continued to go over it, yeah, it became far, far more distinct with uh -huh. every yeah. go over, so, like going over it. And then yeah. it was like so real. The apple was so real just sitting on this paper. Uh -huh. And finally I saw um, the apple was actually brought to such a distinct uh, appearance of reality that it did become real. Oh. And the apple was taken from the image that had been drawn. Mm -hmm. And it remained, of course it was still gray, mm. but then I saw that as it had been taken out, it then even achieved a, a vibrancy of color. Oh, wow. Um, until there was an actual apple. Oh, yeah, apple. yeah. And that's that's what I saw in that vision. What do you think about it? Um, well, there's something about the theme that now I've, as I didn't notice this when seeing the vision, but now I'm, as I'm describing it, it makes me think very much of the the difference between knowledge and actual the knowledge of wisdom and the actual practice and reality of that wisdom. Yes. Um, to where fruit is no longer an image or an ideal, the image, but it's yes. actual yes. tangible fruit. Yes. Yes. But. That's the only interesting thing. Yeah. Well, you can apply that also to kinds of wisdom, right? Depends on the appetite, yeah. right? So, yeah. I just want you to seek God's wisdom, understanding. Yeah. I know certain culture, today's society, things are stirred up. You know, people different things, different voices. It, it can to distract our life in different ways. And it's good to have opinion, have insight and discernment of those things. But the undergirding thing can never change. You need to know who is doing whom, who are you, to those people around in your life, who are they, am I? Right? So those are things that has to be identified before you actually can build things solidly in the things of God. I hope you understand what I'm saying. So yeah, yeah. you 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 for example your dad. You how you, you you love your dad. You 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 respect your dad. But the, your dad is a, is one. Especially when he's do teachings, he's very much carried by the Holy Spirit. The the part maybe you know he needed to gain information, process information, but he's he's a one carried by the Spirit. Now, there is something to learn. Not everyone can be carried by the Holy Spirit. I was so excited yesterday. We met each other. We just, I just love trying to greet John casually. And then he tried to follow me up. You know, we have the prayer time. In the morning, we have certain things. We feel, well, better meet together, pray a little bit. And right here to go. Three of the guys right in the same spots. From different directions. John had to took a haircut, you know, and right in the same moment, we were able to pray, hand in hand, to pray. How oh, God organized that? So we begin to talk with certain things. I talked to him. I'm just trying to give you some encouragement to you. I said, you know, this morning I was reading, um, casually, the Lord, you know, use the, use the Passion Translation or read it, so I had not read it. Most of the book are not readers, so I was a casual pick up. I tell you, which book to read? Which book to read? I don't think about it. We're talking about the revelation. I said, you know what? I really want to see this guy how he translates the revelation. <laughs> so, 
read the, well, the book, portion of Revelation introduction. It's a mean theme. It's like a, there, there's things that he's, like your dad, talking about. My dad and I were just discussing that. Is that right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, so talking about it. You were reading it. Too. I was reading it in the middle of a sudden recognize, oh, Tim is talking about the same thing. He's, he's doing, yeah. <laughs> doing introduction. So, so here, you know, then he showed up, I could tell him that, you know, to encourage him. Oh, I got a lot of distraction set back these days. But all kinds of breakthroughs as well. And we able to pray together. And that prayer is more than for us to be confirmed. The prayer actually is a clean up the, this is how you operate in the spirit. Clean up the spirit disorientation disorder for the Passover season. How do you believe that? Now, none of us will be aware of that in the moment until we know God did that for us, for everybody in our midst. We didn't pray for it particularly. We didn't do anything. But in the Lord, something is released on that in your life. Close your eyes. I want to tell you. Something going to release in your life. The Spirit will carry you, Noah. When the Spirit carries you, have the uh, God will bless you with the ability to follow this and to obey in it. But also, I pray that you will have a spirit like Kilab. Kilab has said, you know, he has a different spirit. What that means is that he, he, whenever the Lord said, he would do it, you know, he just don't argue about it. That's a very difficult intellectual mind. It's not really strong will. We just wanted to, okay, I want to, I want to know why, 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 you know, so. However, God sometimes tells us two things. It's like that. I'm not so impulsion. You know, I'm trying to tell you don't be impulsive, right? But there's a simple discernment. It's like, you know that's the Lord. I'm going to obey. I'm going to listen. I'm going to do the thing I'm, He want me to do. The intellectual mind is different. We wanted to, to gain information, process information, make ABCs, make the right choices, you know, of multiple choices. That's what I call the self-imagined life. You know, self-imagined life is always a self-centered life. It's, it's actually selfish life, am I right? But I can get out of this. So being life, don't think about himself. It's just, Lord, and that's not irresponsible. Uninformed, try to the contrary. I can see the beauty for them. This they make his decisions, process decisions. Um, you know, there are decisions we still struggling. I do the same, so I'm not saying anybody on par competing. But to talk about, you come to awareness where people are progressing things, developing things. I see your dad. He's making decisions to follow the Holy Spirit. Good or bad, hard or easy, you know? And I hope all decisions in his life be made about the Holy Spirit. That cannot be true in the season. We, are. we learn from it. However. So are you. I pray, pray today will seal in you the ability for you to follow the Holy Spirit, to walk by faith, not by sight. As much as input of things, that needed to happen in your life, but I pray they will not be the dominant engine or the framework for you to process your life in the Lord, in this world. In Jesus' name, I, pray, uh, 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 I bless you. I want you to pray a little bit. I pray for me who wrap up times. Amen. Lord, I do pray for the fulfillment, Lord, of these things. Lord, you have indeed put it even recently on my heart, Lord, to Lord, to desire, Lord, to be led by you, your spirit. Mm -hmm. Lord, for my heart to not concern itself with lesser things, mm -hmm. or for my mind to not be so actively and continually engaged in things of a lesser realm, of a lesser order, lesser wisdoms. Lord, even this morning, mm. Lord, I read again from the, the 
the prayer section and spiritual progress mm. of Lord, how our love for you, Lord, and as it is realized by even our minds, is very often like how a father would love his child. Mm. Lord, his mind is not always and forever, or it's it's not always and consistently focused on the child, mm. Lord, but when it considers the child, mm. Lord, when the child comes to his mind, Lord, mm. his love is always the same, mm. Lord, it is, it is always there. Mm. It is a faithful and consistent love. Mm. And so, Lord, I pray, Lord, that despite the many things that my my mind mm. becomes engaged with, Lord, mm. throughout the day, Lord, mm. throughout the months, mm. Lord, that it is ever in a state of humility, mm. Lord, before you and love for you, mm. Lord, that my heart would be firmly established, mm. Lord, in your ways and your calling upon my life. That is amazing. And the Lord has told me, you know, the edginess of you, the inner man, it just miraculously disappeared. There is a humble heart there, a willing heart. Mm. That's a beautiful thing, Lord. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Go ahead. Lord, I... I prayed it even this morning, Lord, and I pray it again. Mm. Lord, I ask for, Lord, a true, Lord, confidence in, Lord, your calling upon my life. Mm. Lord, what you have brought me to, to be and to do. Mm. Lord, not to have a, Lord, even as the word mentioned this morning, not a impetuous heart or attitude, mm. Lord, concerning what I believe should be so. Mm. Lord, but a... Lord, a, a truly meek, Lord, and humble position before you, mm. Lord, in all that I do and engage with, mm. Lord, in the things that I pursue, mm. Lord, I confess, Lord, to have done, Lord, so much even in the recent weeks, Lord, that seems to be, that have seemed to be, mm. Lord, good and even productive things, mm. Lord, un but many of them if not most of them lord were unto lord my own self improvement mm. lord and not focusing on the importance of lord my my relationship with you and even with others that you have placed in my life mm. lord so i i pray for this a true change and shift in my perspective mm. lord of who i am mm. lord it, lord that you would expand my vision to mm. See, Lord, in love mm. and respond in love to the lives of others, mm. Lord, and see the, Lord, the true preciousness of, mm. of time, mm. Lord, in this life, mm. Lord, not to be overly concerned with mm. a waste of time, Lord, but to mm. be concerned with, Lord, how you desire us to live wisely in the time that we are given. Mm. So, Lord, I pray these things, Lord, for my life and for the lives of those in my family, mm. Lord, as we learn these things mm. together, mm. Lord, as led by your Spirit and inspired by your Spirit in each season as they pass, mm. I pray these things in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Remember, this is so true. God take care of his own. <laughs> he always does.